Sugar Bowl. Why even that name? Uh, I really did think it was a great metaphor for, for a relationship, for, uh, for love, for, for all those things. Uh, intimacy, um, trust, um, all those things go into, uh, into the relationship, and, uh, much like the sugar ball, much like the sugar itself. And uh, sometimes uh, somebody forgets to fill the sugar bowl. <laughs> um, sometimes both people do. So, anyways, I thought it was a great, it was a great, uh, it was a great metaphor for that. And so, um, that has always been uh, the idea. And, and the song itself really, really was the impetus for the whole album, the start of that. I'd, I'd held on to that song for quite a while. And um, I always felt it was special. And uh, there was a point uh, that I decided that I, I really, I really wanted to at least record five songs, a, a short EP. I knew that I wanted to uh, work with special people um, and specific people. And Brent had always been one of those guys that had come kind of in and out of my musical life. You know, always was always just so stellar and always added something special to whatever it was I was doing at the time. So I decided that's the guy, that's the guy I want to work with uh, to make this, this, this happen. And he had since moved from California. He had moved from California back to his home in New Orleans. And so packed up the guitars, got on a plane and went to New Orleans. We started working there at the, the music shed in New Orleans proper uh, with Jack Mule. We, we just went at it. And um, it was something I really wanted to do for a long time, something special. And I really wanted to do something excellent as for my little um, uh, time capsule, so to speak. And I kind of had a little burst of writing, uh, you know, fever there. and. So knocked out a couple of the new songs, uh, Just Enough being one of those, um, Unaware being one of those, um, and an, an additional track that might be a bonus track later called Deanna. And we continued work on Crazy as well, um, the, the, the reworking of, uh, the rearrangement of Niles Barkley's you know, absolute killer killer song. I've always loved the song. Always wanted to do a remake of it. So um, we worked a little bit more on that. Worked on Sugar Bowl. Ended up cutting Sugar Bowl in half and making an acoustic version and a heavier version. Um, a more Hendrix-y uh, uh, approach to, to the song. And at the end of the day, um, very pleased. And uh, uh, we had some wonderful people contribute um, their their gifts. Some of the singers that, that came out and, and lent their voices, just amazing. Tony Hall, uh, bass player, uh, incredible bass player. There were things that I knew that I wasn't appropriate for that Tony came in and just knocked out of the park. So, that's what we did. It's a little piece of me for sure. Uh, and hope you enjoy it.